How are these SWAT team leaders ready to rock? Storm team. Cool. You guys enjoyed the day so far? It's beautiful out. Happy Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see Aurora over there. Oh, cool. Again, make sure you're still stretching out. Just a few more friends before we rock and roll. So, does anyone have any big weekend plans? Um, training, karate, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Inside, outside. Everywhere. Yeah, you know, a lot more uh, hikes and walks now. Very nice. Hey, Mr. Tom, how are you doing? It's like, you doing well. How are you? Doing great. What about you? Any big weekend plans? And just hanging out and trying to get outdoors, do something. Yeah, <laughs> getting all those little things lined up. Today yeah. we're going to find out more about uh, our real big days. Just not sure in what capacity yet, so we're kind of playing by ear. But looking forward to seeing everybody in person at some point again. Oh yeah. But I'm really happy we still have these lessons and classes, so that's always a good time too. Well, again, let's just do some quick light stretches. The other day we stretched out our wrists. I'm thinking right now, let's just put our hands on our hips. Let's bring one hip up to the side. And way out. And pull them forward, pull them backward, giant hula hoop all the way around, and back. Good. And just side to side, shift your weight a little bit. Carry up and up from around you. So, going to trouble. We've had some requests to go through a little bit of grappling technique. Neat. So today, today may be yeah a little bit of a grappling day. Not too too much, of course. But if you want to battle strong, again, the one rule is safety. So make sure you have a little bit more space around you. If you have siblings, do not do not start grappling your siblings, please. Make sure that again we're doing some solo training. So keep that in mind that we can fine tune and make it really really well done. So focus on that quality. Okay. Sound good? All right. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Strong groups. Very nice. Jacob looks ready. Nice. Good. Derek is ready to rock. Aiden, good to see you. Derek. Very cool. Very nice, guys. Awesome. No one, Ben. Theo and Dexter. Okay, Layla. Oh, a lot of siblings battling. Good thing I just told you. Remember, you're not grappling your sibling today, please. Oh, there's Dimitri. Cool. Uh, strong crew, Sensei. Mr. Tom, we really have some really good focused students wow. here. Oh, I see. Rohan ready to rock. Very cool. Noe. Nice. All right. Oh, people are cheering about the grappling today. Raise your hand if you miss grappling a little bit. Oh, Mr. Tom, the Greta. <laughs> Vero, Sarita, and Sohan. Awesome, very cool. David ready to rock? Cool. All right, guys. Well, stretch out those, those splits. Scissor or straddles, Krishna and Shreyram. Good, Evangelina stretching out. Another strong grappler over there. Very cool. All right, Logan, Wayne. Snap crackle pops out. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're ready. okay, everyone. I think we're ready to rock. You have a set? All right. All right. Together. Good. Heel touching, toes touching, chin up, back straight. Curtis bow. All right. Let's warm up pretty quick. Everyone, to start a little bit of a bounce. I think today. Half jack, speed in and out. I think today let's go through a few of our different stances. Now we have our horse stance go. 
Heel, we have our horse stance really strong. Front stance, go. Take a big step forward, bend that front knee. But what about our sparring stance? Sparring stance, we turn a little more sideways. We add that bounce as we're here. Then we also have our grappling stance. Grappling stance, turn your body forward like you're making the letter C with your body. Elbows are going to be in. I'm also up on my back heel, and that's very important. This way I can push forward and spring back. So, right where you are, sparring stance. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's see a quick back fist, ready? One, just warming up, two, three, grab the air strike, four, five, switch feet, bounce, bounce, bounce. One, really fast, fast, two, three, fast, four, five, good, grab those kicks, hold, ready, shuffle forward, back, we're gonna go to the side, Side, forward, back, side, side, high five the ground, good, stay low, forward, high five the ground, backward, high five the ground, to the side, high five the ground, other side, high five the ground, sparring stance, switch feet, the other hand left, the other hand up, switch, Switch, slide, roundhouse kick. So again, my knee comes up, pop and kick, and then I'm gonna shuffle right back. Ready, one, and back. It can be low too. Maybe you're not feeling comfortable kicking, maybe you have a slippery floor. Just bring your leg up like you're going to pretend kick. Two, kick right up. Three, four, Five, switch feet, other leg ready. One, slide kick, two, slide kick, three, slide kick, four, slide kick, and five. Nice, all right, grab those stance again. Well, Mr. I'm gonna have you angle that tablet down a little bit more because I'm going to drop down lower. Awesome. Can everybody see me okay? We have our bear crawls. Everyone bear crawl up. Now you're not gonna be bear crawling all over the room, but I wanna see you bring up your arm and kick through so you flip into your crab walk. Everybody have it? Good, now from here, you're gonna bring up your arm, you're going to sit back in your bear crawl. So, I want to see you turn into your crab, turn back into your bear. Now the only parts of my body that are touching the floor are my palms and the bottoms of my feet. That's it. No elbows, no belly, no back. Ready? Flip into your crab walk. One, lift, set. Two, any way you want. Three, lift and sit. Four. All right, let's go faster. Five. Six. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. One full six. Raise the camera up. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bow. Ready, stance. Let's see. Ron Setsu. Representing Rise and Storm. Our form is Ron Setsu. Thank you. Ms. Thomas you're going to be following me on this one. Ready? So we're going to ready stance out. One, step back. Open, draw those lines, fingers are together. Two, draw a wide, spear. Three, we're going to lean. Four, punch, punch. Five, look, back stands around. Six, low kick. Seven, low kick, high kick. Eight, eagle up. 
Nine turn down here. Ten jump and sit. All right, eleven is that shadow. Keep that hand up, protect your head. Kick one, two, three, and strike. Crescent kick high five. Block punch. Gather and kick. Pop and pop. Set. Very nice. Well, I'd like to go to like. Uh, you have to warmed up. Raise your hand if you're warmed up. Would be good. Awesome. Nicely done. Well, to the ground up. I'm going to have you go through a little bit of a review with our bases. Nothing too wild. I'm thinking only five for our our count today. Be specific with the hand strikes, and then Mr. Tom, right, you are going to lead us through a few quick combos. Then let's go to our move of the day. So, sleep right up, take it away. What's that? Oh yeah, you can move up a little bit too. That way we got plenty of room. There we go. And, uh, well, basic from punches. Each, knee, sun, chi, go. Hey. Back fist. Each, <laughs> knee, sun, chi, Go. Mm, plus puncher. Each. Shni. San. Chi. Go. Hey. Knife and strike. Each. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Good. And one more. Reach hand. Each. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Good. Say, Greg, do you have a favorite hand strike? My favorite hand strike? Hmm, good question. I think uh, I like to do back fist. Uh, the back fist? Why back fist? Why back fist? Mm -hmm. It's fast. And one of the, for me at least, is very fast hand strike. Cool. And go, it can be dense. Well, I don't I want these students. Calm, calm heels too. Calm heels too? Yes. Ah, all right. Well, let's add. Do you want to add a back fist or a palm heel to our eight point blocking today? Uh, palm heel. Okay, so then when you do block number one, let's do a palm heel strike. Block number two, let's do that palm heel. It can be an open hand or half closed. Ready? Begin. One is up. Good. And palm right through. Palm. Two is up. And palm. Three across. And palm. Four across. And palm. Five is up. And palm. Six is up. And palm. Seven is down. Palm. Eight is down. Palm. Cool. And up. Good. Thank you so much. Well, let's go through a few quick combinations. Mr. Tom, we have you stepping up. So sorry. Make sure that they know their rules of self-defense. Everyone, let's talk, Mr. Tom. All right, everyone. What are those rules? Use your mind. Use your words. Use your legs. Use your self-defense. Hey. Very good. Well, on this one, when I punch in, I want to see strike the tree. Ready? Go. Block. Kick and cover. Very good. One more time, strike the tree. We're gonna knife hand block, front kick, and set. Very good. Now, when I back fist, that says a red, a strong move. That back fist comes in. We want to knife hand block, lean, side kick crossing cover. Good, one more time, snapping branch. When you see that back fist come in, lean, side kick, and set. Now, when you see a thrust punch, who knows this one? You know my hands, let's see. No, I don't know this uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> when you see that thrust punch, I wanna see lightning thrust. So you're gonna step forward, push. Thrust punch under, back punch over, grab. Take down, thrust punch, here. Yeah. Hey, very good. One more time, lightning thrust. When you see that thrust punch, push. Under, over, claws. Take down, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, let's go through those combinations. Key act, you're set. Hey. All right. First one. 
Stabbing wish. Yeah. Yes. Hey. All right, I'm going to go faster. Great speed. Let's see who's going to finish first. Oh. Excellent work, everyone. <laughs> awesome. Very nice, Mr. Tom. Well, they already gave us some fast hand strikes. There's some great combos. So even the beginning combos, yeah, pretty tricky, pretty quick. Well, we mentioned grappling today. What animal represents grappling? The what? Tiger, leopard, crane, snake, or dragon? Hold up the animal. Hold it up, hold it up, I gotta see it. Oh, I see leopard for speed and power. And tiger for never giving up. Ah, oh, snake, some of you are Warming your arm like this. Snake, yep, defending yourself on the ground. Well, does it require good balance for grappling? Sure. Require wisdom. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we'll associate it with that snake too. So as we're here, combine it with that and giving up, of course. So let's get back into our grappling stance. How do we work that first takedown? We've gone through a bunch already. With these classes, we've done our dip and takedown, golden talon, mauling bear, all these different sweeps and throws. But what is our number one takedown when it comes to grappling? Our warrior takedown. Mr. Tom, if you could bring out that red little bag right there. And, Mr. Gunny, you know what? Can you grab that black bag top too? Do any of you have a little pillow or something around you or a, a cushion of some sort? Why don't you go grab one really quick? Uh, I have one right over here, Sensei. Ah, you have uh, one this, too? This one will work. Perfect. Ah! Right, look out. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to set this up a little bit more. Mr. Tom, I'm going to have you angle that uh, camera a little bit more just so these guys can see my footwork. That's key. Well, so again, I have this flag back to uh, this black bag top here. And when we do our warrior takedown from my grappler stance, the leg that's forward, I drop my knee down to the ground. You'll see this in so many different grappling styles, wrestling. Well, why do we want to do this? Why is this so fast? Remember that when I'm walking, we all do this naturally, of course. Well, what I want to think about doing is walking down to the ground. So how do we walk down to the ground? As I'm here, when I step, instead of stepping and dropping this way, I, the sneaky part is I let my knee glide down to the floor. So when I step, I lower my body down. Now I step up here. My shoulder should be connecting, my head should be on the side. My chin is tucked because I don't want them to grab and squeeze and lock. Now, a lot of times, we hula hoop our arms like this. We step up, we hula hoop, we lift, we take down, and set and climb, we, we hook. Well, there's something sneaky I want to add today. If we hula hoop our arms like this, it's good, but they can still kind of peg one lock a little bit. And as they're kicking back, and sprawling out. So we're gonna do something a little more sneaky. It involves one of your tempo hand strikes that you learn in kata two. This motion here, the mighty chicken wrist. We can use a cross chicken wrist and hit to the head. We can bump under the chin, but we can also use this as a grip, as a pulling motion. Well, we wanna get these chicken wrists scooping behind, not their knees, but a little lower on that muscle on their knee. So when I'm here now, I'm in my grappler stance, 
My knee drops down. I use my chicken wrists, cutting in. I step up. Now I can drive forward. I can lift. I can turn. So I'm not really here. I'm already grabbing their legs. So I want to see this a few times. If you have a pillow up or something you can lift up, you're going to have to scoop it with your chicken wrists today. So as we're here, my grappler stance. Right now, my pillow slash bag top is on the ground. My knee drops down. I'm going to use my hooks. I'm going to step up and lift. Let me just put it right back down again. So here we go. I'm going to look for the fastest student. Mr. Tom, he did something small. Maybe it's just something like a little ball here. Whatever it is, I drop down, my scoop, and pick it right up. So I want to see you pick up your object and hold it right up. Don't be too silly. I don't want all of you to just be like, oh, well, I picked up a little bead. No, it's got to be something that shows that you're practicing. Ready? Get set, grappler sticks. Circle a little bit one way, circle a little bit the other way, and, and go knee down, grab, lift up. Nice, all right, back down. Ready, grab those stance. Shuffle one side, other side, back, forward, fake, back, or knee down, knee down, grab, step up. Good. All right, now this time when you do your warrior takedown, you're gonna do it so strong. Knee comes down, scoop, step up. I want you to stand up. Get into that grappler stance again. Ready? Get set. Grappler stance. High five the floor. Forward. Back. Side. Side. Forward. Fake. Back. High five the ground. Warrior takedown. Knee down, grab, step up. Good. Well, last set. Best set. Here we go. I'm going to set mine up. Oh my goodness. I think Addy is warrior takedown and picking up nunchucks. My goodness. Well, <laughs> you're going to get into your warrior takedown. I stacked up my bag top. So now I have a little bit of a person. Again, I'm not just going to back this and ah, it's in line. I need to do a little challenge where I use my warrior takedown. I need to lift up and drive. If I just push here and the upper body collapses on top of me, I just got squished. I just got taken down. My move did not work. So if I do this, ah, I got bumped, I'm up. But if I can control that and move that red bag top away, I'm here. Stay low, one way, other way. I drop down, I scoop, I lift and I turn. Ah! Well then, I can keep going. So we have to make sure we maintain that control. So again, here we go. Here, one side, other side. Forward, back, side, side, fake, fake, drop down, warrior takedown, drop down, scoop, lift, and takedown. Good. That's a lot of fun. Very cool. Well, should we do one little grappling game? I know some of you are like, oh, let's play wolf, capture the flag, but we sadly we can't do too, too much with those. But there's another one we do sometimes. There's another position in grappling where we work our, we work our stand-up technique or we wrap right up and over. So this one is called, believe it or not, it's called bug. Now, what if you get taken down? They take you down. You are on your back. This time you're going to have to guide that one more time. Everyone's probably getting dizzy every time the camera moves down. Whoa. Well, we know we want to try to get back up to our feet. We know we want to try to maybe, if we're on our side, spring right back up. But another situation, you might see them pull them on top of you. 
We're locking our arms, we're locking our legs, like this, holding them right on top. Well, this situation, the word for this will be bug. So when I say bug, from my grappling position, you're gonna drop down, you know, and walking your hands and feet together. So, you have to spring to that positioning really, really quick. So again, we have our, oh, Levi looks ready. We have our grappler stance. We warmed up a little bit with our sparring stance. But when I say bug, you have to drop down and lock in those hands and feet as quick as you can. All right, ready. Get set, grappler stance is on. Forward, high five the floor. Backward, high five the floor. To the side, to the side, forward, fake, warrior takedown, knee comes down, grab, step up, backwards, bug, drop down, yeah, oh, <laughs> back up one more time, ready, get set, forward, fake, backwards, fake, to the side, tie up, Back, touch the floor, warrior takedown. Back, warrior takedown. Back, bug, yeah. And sitting up, time. Well, Mr. Tom, hey. we did our warrior technique, our warrior takedown. How do you feel everyone did so far? Strong group sense, eh? You know, they're all working hard. Very nice to see. Mm -hmm. So, Greta, what are your thoughts? I think they, I know, I think they definitely did an awesome job of following the group. And they were, I think they were all happy about grappling day. Yeah, grappling day is going to be so exciting. You know, when we do open back up, there's not going to be too much contact, of course. So, we're safely, grappling motions will be something similar like this. But until it's safe to train together, we want to keep these moves, these ideas fresh in our minds. And when you really think about it this way, practicing to the air, you are doing a form. You're doing a kata. You are doing a sequence of training solo. So even this can be done as one of your techniques, one of your parts in your form. Keep that in mind. That's why forms are so important. We have been prepared for solo training like this in our classes for so long. So we can keep practicing, keeping that safety, maintain our self-control, our listening at home, even though it can be challenging sometimes. We always do our what? Our best. Well, Mr. Tom, why don't you grab those noodles? Why don't you lead these groups through some ultimate duck jump? And then we'll do a courtesy bow out. Hey. Ready? All right. Yeah. Now oh, two noodles. Right. Yeah, you ready? Fight. Everybody Fight. Bow. Ah. Very good. Everybody bow again. Just one. Okay. Getting ready. Keep training strong, everyone. Good grappling today.